Hi Makeup World, it's Allie again. Um, sorry I haven't done a tutorial in a while. I've been uh, in summer school working really hard and stuff, so I've been really, um, just really busy. Um, I have some exciting news, well not news, but or not exciting, but it's um, what I'll be doing for the next few weeks. Um, I'll have a, a while before school starts again, and so I was thinking of something that I haven't seen done on YouTube that I could do. And um, I was looking through all my different things that I had here, and I was I saw my boyfriend's uh, shampoo, and um, it's the Axe Anti Dandruff Shampoo, and it comes in the green and blue bottle, or the green uh, greenish blue teal and black bottle. Um, and I saw that, I'm like, that is really cool. The way it was blended, the colors are blended and stuff, and the colors itself were, like, were so me. And so then I started to notice, like, all the different, like, Axe body wash he had and the the, the Axe hair gel and all that. So I was thinking, I'm going to go through and choose, like, my favorite five or something and um, do different tutorials on the Axe colors or the Axe bottles. And, um... Yeah, I hope you like them. This is my first one, and it is the anti-dandruff shampoo and conditioner, and it's the tealish blue and green color, and then um, it has the black on it, too. And I really, really like it because it's kind of a, a sexy color, and um, it's something I would definitely do every day. Like, I, um, I love it. So, yeah, if you want to learn more about it and uh, learn how to do this look, keep watching. All right? Bye. Okay guys, so to get started, what we're going to do is um, start out using the MAC Prep and Prime Face Protection. Um, it comes in a bottle like that, you just take it and put it all over your face. I've already done that, so I'm not really going to do it again. Um, it's really good. It, it has um, SPF 50 in it and just really, really helps. Um, and then also what I do, is later we'll be using um, a MAC lip liner and lipstick. Um, I love their stuff, but it does dry out your lips a little bit. So what I do is I have some of the, uh, the Burt's Bees Wax Lip Balm. Lip Balm, it's the replenishing with pomegranate oil stuff, and it's super nice. Um, I would just put like a little bit on the bottom lip, and then um, you don't even bother putting any on the top. Just rub it in together, and it really, really helps, and it lets the lipstick stay. So, um, yeah. So then what you're going to do is you're going to go in with Painterly Paint Pot from MAC. Sorry about the squeaking, that's my dog. Um, he's playing with his, his toy. You're gonna put it all over your eyelid. And you're gonna go in with Delft Paint Pot from MAC. You can't even see it, it's bluish, it's a teal color. You get a little bit on there. And you're just gonna put it on, like in here, like on the, on the lid itself. Just dab it on. And you can go a little bit above the crease, but you don't wanna go too much. So then what you're going to do with that same Delft paint pot is go in with a 217 angle brush, usually for eyebrows or for eyeliner, and you're going to go underneath the eye too. And just like that. Um, okay, so after that, what you're going to do is you're going to go in with Gulfstream by MAC. It's a... Um, really really awesome color it's just really like almost a tealish green I don't I can't even describe it it's a really pretty shimmery color and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in with a 213 brush just a rounded rounded brush and um, you're gonna go over the the Delft paint pot with all of this and it's gonna bring out a really amazing green color green teal color so you're just going in and just dab it on so then when you're done with that, you're going to go in with Carbon, which is the matte black color from MAC. So I use it for everything. And you're going to go in with a 217 shader brush. Uh, just go in with the black and just dab it on a little bit and flick the brush because you don't want any fallout. And you're just going to go in in the corners with that. Just in the corner and just do it and just kind of put it on. Kind of go into the crease, like go in towards a little bit. Go up into your crease and above it just a little bit. I'm going to go in with Vanilla. Where did I just put that? Oh, here. Vanilla, which is a, another MAC um, paint pot. Or not a paint pot, a MAC eyeshadow. It's um, a creamy color, but it's it's MAC. And you're going to go with that 217 brush. And you're just going to go above, like in the 
brow line and stuff and just make sure that it's like all even in there. All right, now what you're gonna do is go in with the eyeliner. Any eyeliner do. Um, you wanna use a black color. And you're just gonna go in with one of those. You're gonna um, line the top eye line. Um, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go like into the water line, like into there. Oh, sorry, that was pretty gross. Um, and just do in there because you have that blue underneath of the teal. That's the eyeliner. Like I said before in my other videos for mascara, use the Maybelline New York, um, the Colossal Volume Express. So yeah, what you're gonna do is just go in with that. Now the eyes are done. Um, now for the foundation, like I've always said before, the best one that I've found, and it's super weird, yes I know that, and I don't even think it's for foundation, is the Derma Blend Professional Cover Cream. It has SPF 30 sunscreen in it. So I just use a sponge and I go in. You know, I'll just I'll just do this really fast so you because this sponge thing takes forever because I got the wrong sponges. So I'll be right back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with a MAC Mineralizer Skin Finish Natural whatever. And I'm going in with medium dark because that's more my color. I'm going to go in and um, just put it all over my face with the uh, 137 brush. Yeah, with the 237 brush. And just go up and go over your entire face with that. My friend Amy also does makeup. Um, I know she did a couple videos for different contests and stuff, but um, I'll put her her um, thing in the her link in the sidebar. You should check her out. Um, she's a really really awesome girl. She's really funny and she knows how to do makeup. So definitely check her out. And then what you're gonna do just to highlight and do a blush, I go in with the CoverGirl br uh, blush. I don't know what color it is. It doesn't have a, a thing on it, but it's um kind of a pinky color. I got it for I um, pink. There. I got it for an 80s party and actually turned out, like, because I thought it was like a really outrageous pink color, and I turned out loving it. I wear it every day and I, I, I love it. So, um, yeah, just go in with a, a blush brush. Get it and just. And then you're going to go in with that blush brush again, and you're going to go and get the Dancing Light um, MAC, I don't know what this is, Beauty Powder, and it's loose. It's like a white, shimmery color. You're just gonna take your blush brush and barely dab it in because it's so, like, so much. And you're just gonna flick your brush, so get like that much on it, and just kinda go over the blush. Okay, now for lips. Um, with such a dramatic eye, you really wanna go light on the lips. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with the subculture lip pencil it's um if you can tell the color um, so yeah just use that and you're just gonna go in and uh line your lips so yeah it's kind of a, the same color as my as my lips and then you're gonna go in for the lipstick and you're gonna use pretty please and it's from mac and it is a very nude color but it's kind of a pinky nude it's a really really pretty color Just go in and go over that. You only want to do like a very little bit because it comes all out like thick. But yeah, and then that's that's that. Um so yeah, if you guys like my videos, I know I do things differently than the average person, but I think that's kind of what makes me different because I don't um I don't know. I don't use all the same things I do. I don't use all the techniques and stuff. I've kind of had to learn how to do makeup on my own. Um, so yeah, um, I would really suggest subscribing to me, please, because I would really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, uh, if you like my videos, please subscribe, and I will continue on with the um, act stuff in a few days. Uh, I will let you guys, I'll put up whichever one I'm going to do next, and um, let you guys know. All right, thank you for watching, guys.